While you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. We go through these things because we continue to disobey God. Teach. When Moses had us in the wilderness, he gave us rules and regulations to follow, just like you got at your job. You break the rules, it's a penalty. Right. You break the rules, it's a punishment. Our punishment for breaking God's rules was slavery. Right. That's right. It said the curses will be on the Israelites as a sign. This sign tells you that, what? That you're on Cottage Grove. The things written in the Bible will show you who God's people are. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Red. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh -huh. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. What group of people's children was sold? Ours. That's letting you know that we are the Israelites. Right. We are the Israelites. We are the people of the book. Only our children were sold in slavery. Thousands of families was broken up during slavery. Yes, during sir. the transatlantic slave trade, thousands of families got separated, right. ripped apart. Right. We the only ones that went through that. That's showing you what? We are the Israelites. Bring it out. Ray. And there shall be no might in thy hand. We had no military to get our children back. Even today, if DCS, if DCFS or Child Protective Services take your child, there's absolutely nothing you can do. Right. Think about it. A lot of us don't have money for lawyers. A lot of us don't have money to go to court. It costs money to go to court. Ray. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, uh -huh. and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, uh -huh. and there shall be no might in thy hand. Uh -huh. Thy fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. It said what? And a, and a nation which thou knowest not shall eat up. Read it again from the top. Let me give you a flyer there. It's about black history. Don't care if I get a young lady one, it's about black history. Remember, they taking that out of schools. It's important that they learn that. Right. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation thou, that which thou knowest not eat up. We built this country, did we not? But we not getting none of the labor. Take a flyer. It's about black history. Make sure y'all take a flyer. It's free. It's about black history. Read it again. Thy fruit, the fruit of thy land. And all thy labor shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. A black man made the traffic light. Right. But we ain't getting no credit for that. All these things we did to build this country up, we not getting no fruit from it. Right. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. You want to know why we always going through it? That's Bible prophecy. Those are the curses for disobedience that we going through, people. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. We go through these things because we continue to disobey God. Teach. When Moses had us in the wilderness, he gave us rules and regulations to follow, just like you got at your job. You break the rules, it's a penalty. Right. You break the rules, it's a punishment. Our punishment for breaking God's rules was slavery. Right. That's right. Give me verse 34. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 34. Uh -huh. so, that thou, so, so that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thy eyes, uh -huh. which thou shalt see. Uh -huh. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees uh -huh. and in the legs uh -huh. with a sore butt. My brother, take a flight. It's about black history. Check that out. You got five minutes, talk to us. Five minutes, bring. That cannot be healed uh -huh. from the sole of thy foot until thy top of thy head. We are the ones that go through disease. 
We are hiding all the diseases in the black community, in the Hispanic community. Why? Disobedience to God. Right. All other races ain't going through this like we going through it. We hide diabetes. We hide congestive heart failure. Yeah. We hide high blood pressure. Right. Yeah. Right. STD. Right. Why? Because we refuse to listen to God. Right. Right. Bring it right out. now, the word of God is coming to you blacks in Washington Park. The word of God is coming out. But it's up to you to listen to it. Let's get more proof that we are the Israelites. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 47. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Bring it out. 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. 30, 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth thy wife, and another man shall lie with her. Stop. Read that again. How many brothers is married out here? How many men out here married? Guess what? When we was in slavery, the slave master was taking your wife and raping her. That's how you know the Bible is a true book. When we came off them slave ships, some of us was married and the slave master would take your wife from you. Right. The Bible is talking about those things. That's how you know the Bible is a true book. Bring it out. Read. Thou shalt be dropped a wife and another man shall lie with her. Who else that happened to? Who had wives and somebody took their wife and slept with their wife? That happened to us in slavery. Bring it out. The movie 12 Years a Slave, La Amistad Roots. They put it in all the movies. We the only ones that happen to you. What is that showing you? We are the Israelites according to the Bible. Ray, Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. We built all the slave quarters on this land. We built all the houses. Right. We built all the shacks on the plantation. We built it all. Bring it up. But what it say? Thou shalt build a house. And thou shalt not dwell therein. We didn't live in none of those big houses down south that we made. Right. right. They had us sleeping in barnyards and shacks. How the hell are people build up a country and we can't reap no benefits? Right. right. Punishment from God. From them. Give me verse 48 now. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. So what are we doing? We are showing you that you are an Israelite according to the Bible. Right. You are God's chosen people. That's right. Right. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee. So why are we on the bottom? Are we on the bottom because we not smart? Are we on the bottom because we don't know how to fight? No, we're on the bottom because we disobey God. Bring it out. You gotta ask yourself, how is it a young boy can skip three grades? How is it we can build different inventions in poverty? How is it we good in all the sports, but we on the bottom? It's because we not listening to God. Right. Read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemy. So God said, because you don't want to listen to him, you will serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Let me share a flight with y'all. That's about black history. You got five minutes, man. Please stay and listen. Read. Oh, in hunger. Right and in thirst. Let me show you this. Because knowing we got to start applying as a people, we got to start doing what God said. Because not doing what God said got us in these conditions. Right. Read. And in hunger. And in thirst. Hold on. Instead, we're going to serve our enemies in hunger. Right. Where are the black-owned grocery stores in our community? Bring it out. There are none. Where are the black-owned food pantries? We don't even go to our own people for our wants and needs. Right. Why? Because we disobeyed God. We used to rule the earth, but God turned the tables because we didn't listen to him. Right. And in thirst. And in thirst. We don't own no water company. Every water company that you buy water from is owned by another race. Right. That's a punishment from God. Then when you try to collect rainwater, what happens? They tax you. Right. They find you. Right. These are punishments from God. Read. 
And in nakedness. Nakedness. These so-called black clothing lines, they getting all their material from who? Other races of people. So we don't even get our clothes from our own people. Why is that? Because we don't listen to God. Right. We don't. And in, and in one of all things. And in one of all things. When we die, we have to get a death certificate from where? Downtown, City Hall. We're not getting a death certificate from our own people. What the Bible just show us. Everything we need, we gotta go to another race. But when the Chinese man needs some, he can go to another Chinese man and get it. Right. When the white man needs some, he can go to another Caucasian man and get it. Right. We are the only race of people that have to go to other races, other nationalities, to get the things that we need. Right. We at the bottom of the boot. Right. We got the foot on our neck. Why? Because we don't listen to God. Right. Right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. What group of people had chains on their neck? Bring it out. If the slave ship ain't turned some on in your mind, surely, surely, a yoke of iron chains on the neck will turn it on in your mind. Right. We the only people had chains on our neck. You see it in the movies, you see it in the museum. We the only people that went through that. Right. They chained us up like we was dogs. Right. Chained us up like we was canines. Jesus. We the only ones went through that. Right. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Hold on, it said a yoke of iron until what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. You know what's crazy about that? Just like you keep a leash on a dog for so long, they become obedient. You can take the leash off. You ain't got to force them to have a leash on their neck no more. That's what they did to us. All these holidays we celebrate. These holidays ain't our culture. Right. Right. They beat you and made you celebrate Thanksgiving. They made you celebrate Easter. They made you celebrate Halloween. They made you celebrate Valentine's Day. Right. But guess what? After we had them chains on us for so long and they beat us down, when they took the chains off, they had to force us to do nothing. We was already mentally destroyed. Right. Just like a dog. Mentally destroyed. That's why we in the state that we in. We are mentally and spiritually destroyed. Oh, see, John. We so destroyed. We won't even stop. We won't even think about the things that's going on around us. We the only race of people that think death is just normal. Right. We the only race of people where people get murdered in our communities. We cry about it. We might say something about it. Then we go on about our business. Right. Y'all know the other races of people that's crazy. Right. We go to sleep to gunshots and sirens. Right. That's not normal in the rest of the world. Bring it you know? out. But that's normal in the black and Hispanic community. Right. That's letting you know we are destroyed as a race of people. Hey, Chuck. We don't. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. From Guess what? Another thing people like to commonly say, they say, wasn't we already here? Yes. The Native Americans was already here. Those are your brothers. But what happened to them? A race of people came from the other side of the world. Bring it out. To this side of the world and colonized them. I'm gonna put you up on something. Black people, we suffered slavery. Native Americans and Hispanics suffered colonialism. Right. right. Colonialism is when somebody comes to your land and puts you under bondage. Slavery is when you're taken from a land and brought somewhere else. Right. Show you what? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we suffered the same things. We're brothers, we're the same people. That's why I behoove you to come over, come listen, come see what we're talking about. Five minutes. They are not teaching this in school. 
they just put something out called critical race theory. Bring where it they're out. Trying to take out black history out of the school. So it's important to know where you come from so you know where you're going. Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyer. So the British, the Spanish, they came from Europe. Let me give you this flyer, sir. Very important. The British and the Spanish came from Europe. That's why I said from the other side of the earth. That's what that's talking about. Read it again so I, I call it right. Far, far from the end of the earth. From the end of the earth. The Native Americans and the Hispanics was on the Western Hemisphere. The Spanish and the British came from the Eastern Hemisphere. Right. The other side of the world. Teach. Over here to do what? Rape, rob, and, and pillage. They came from the other side of the earth to rape, rob, and pillage. That's why you shouldn't celebrate Thanksgiving, brothers and sisters. Right. Thanksgiving is a day of murder. Right. Thanksgiving is a day of slaughter. Thanksgiving is a day of robbery. Read. As swift as an eagle flyer. That's the sign right there telling you who our enemy is. The Caucasian man loves using the symbol of the eagle. Right. right. Who else is that talking about in the Bible? They came with the eagle on their boats when they came over here and put us in slavery. They have the eagle on their money, on their uniforms. They the only race that use that bird because that's a bird of prey. That's right. That's how you know what the Bible is talking about. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. We want to know why we speak in English right now. English wasn't your original language, Hebrew is. Spanish ain't your original language, they forced that on you. Right. right. We learn these languages in slavery. Bring it out. Bring it out. Teach. Read on. A nation of fierce countenance. It said a nation or a race of fierce countenance. Meaning what? They didn't play no games when they came over here. When they came over here, they didn't show no mercy. Right. You can look this up. It's a book called A Thousand Years of Lynching. And they show you where they lynch families. If y'all ever heard the song by Nina Simone called Strange Fruit, she's not talking about fruit hanging in the tree. She's talking about bodies she's seen in the South. Right. Whole families hung in trees. That's that nation of fierce countenance. We, we shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. They murdered young and old men, young and old women. They murdered children. We forget things like the bombing in Birmingham. Right. When them four little girls was killed. Right. That's showing you that race of fierce Countenance. And I know the mindset. We come to things like the African West, and all we worried about is trying to make a profit. Sell things, buy things. Take a step back and look at your surroundings. Right. Take a step back and look at the condition of your people. What just happened in Jacksonville, Florida? Read that again. A nation of fear countenance. Uh huh. We shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. The same thing that happened to us in 1619, going all the way back to 1441. It's records going all the way back to 1441 that they had us in slavery. So 1619, that's just a popular date. They've been putting us in slavery since the 1400. Bring it out. That's what they don't teach you in school. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.